हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माई इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट फ्यूल ऑल सैम्पल रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन इन टुडे वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सैम्पल सच एज इन यू सैम्पल ऑन बोर्ड सैम्पल और मार्पल डिलीवर सैम्पल आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी वॉट इज द रूल्स एंड रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ इंस्टॉलिंग अ सैम्पलिंग पॉइंट वॉट यू शुड टेक इन द माइंड बिफोर इंस्टॉलिंग अ सैम्पलिंग पॉइंट After that, we will try to understand that what do you mean by designated sampling point, and what action you should take when you install a sampling point, how it will reflect in a IPB survey, and then we will see the various rules and regulation of a sampling point. So, friend, please tune till last. I guarantee, after watching the today video, you will all doubt clear about the sampling point rules and regulation which have came. after 1st april 2022 so first let us talk about what is the fuel oil sample so basically after 1st april 2022 marpol came up with a new regulation that different sample point should be installed in different place so that they can take sample who mainly the psc waiting inspection or port authority can take sample so that to ensure that the ship is following the rules and regulation of a port terminal or a flag state so basically the there are three type of sample if anybody asks you how many type of samples are there so you should say there are three type of sample first is the marpol delivered sample so what is the marpol delivered sample so as you know when you are taking bunker at that time by a continuous dripping process you are collecting a sample that sample is been collected in a sample bag and after that it is transferred to a four sampling bottle that sample is called bunker deliver sample or marpol deliver sample now what does it represent it represent that the bunker which you have received on board that sample is the same as a marpol deliver sample now second sample is a in use sample what do you mean by in use sample in use sample means that the sample which you have taken that is representing that what you are consuming now this is the basic fuel oil system in which you can see here is one sampling point is provided which is near to the main engine now if it is the main engine near to the main engine after settling purifier after that service and then from supply pump and then from circuiting pump heater filter after before going to the main engine there is one sampling point that sample is called in use sample okay now now we know two sample marpo deliver sample and your in use sample now what is the on board sample so basically in a fuel oil tank now suppose there is a fuel oil tank what fuel oil tank now from settling tank suppose this is a one tank from here to a transfer pump you are transferring to a settling tank now this tank what type of fuel is there in this tank there should be a sampling point from where we can take the sample okay and we can test it so this type of sample is called on board sample so it means that type of fuel in the fuel oil tank that is which can it will be used in the engine that sample if you want to take that is called on board sample so there is three type of sample marpo deliver sample in use sample and on board sample so marpol deliver sample is basically when you are taking bunker at that time what sample which you have taken that represent what type of bunker you have taken after that on board sample represent that what type of fuel you are having in tank suppose you have two different grade lsmgo and vlsfo so each different grade should have each tank should have different sampling point from where you can take the sample after that the type of fuel which are burning in the main engine that from there a point sampling point should be there from where you can take the sample so this is the 
location of a sampling point right now we talked about now let us see how it look like in a engine room so this is as you can see it look very complicated right this this is how a engine room pipeline are there so basically what it tell in simple way if you try to know it look like this in a simple pipeline diagram so basically the second question is asked that what do you mean by designated sampling point if a surveyor ask you what do you mean by designated sample point it you should say that designating means that you should clearly identify the sample point it means that the sample point which is been made in such a way that it clearly says that this is the sampling point basically it is talking about the in use sample what is the in use sample in use sample is a sampling point which represent that what type of fuel is burned in the fuel oil combustion machinery basically this will be reflected in a pipeline diagram so the pipeline diagram will look like this and there will be a stamp of the flag state authority which are approving and providing with the ibp survey that this pipeline has been modified and this pipeline is been approved by during the ibp renewal survey so basically designating represent the clearly identifying the sampling point and which is talking about the in use sample now what is the rules and regulation of the in use sample it says that the in use sample should be made in a point where it should be as close as to the safety means it say that it should be as close as to the fuel oil combustion machinery and it should not have any effect means it when you are making a sampling point you should consider certain point in your mind that it should not have any effect now when you are collecting a sample it may spill so if it is spill or if it reflect at that time it should not fall on certain hot surface which may cause fire so you can also control the flow so considering all that you have to make a sampling point we should be as close as to the fuel or combustion machinery so if a surveyor ask you that where should be a sampling point in your sampling point so you can say that the fuel or sampling point can be after a circulating pump and before the combustion machinery just say this thing after the circulating pump and before the combustion machinery you can place it at any point where you want now after you have made the sampling point you have to get it approved from the iopp survey basically after 1st april 2022 this rules and regulation came up and it say that after 1st april 2022 2023 after 1st april 2023 whenever you are doing its first renewal iopp survey at that time you have to get it approved by the iopp surveyor so basically in the iipp surveyor will approve the pipeline diagram after the approving the pipeline diagram you will have to make this point and when the point is been made the survey will take place and after that once is approved it will reflect on a iipp certificate now what are the rules now when if you are going to install you cannot just install simply this uh, sampling point so what you should take in mind consider in mind whenever you are installing this thing so basically you should consider this thing the first thing is that the sampling point now suppose you are this is a pipeline from here the pipeline is going on okay now you have installed this sampling point so it should be self closing it means that when you press this valve down at that time you can collect the sample in container and after that as soon as you release it will by the help of a spring it will get close so it say that it should be a sort of valve which should be preferably self closing type so it is example of a self closing type of valve so it should be a self closing type of valve after that there should be a cap like this to prevent the leakage or drip after that where it should be installed it should be properly lit up mean and it should be properly ventilated and whenever the location you have to choose in such a way that any dripping or spraying 
cannot reach the hot surface because or electrical equipment because it is causing a electrical fire hazard and also the oil fire hazard to prevent any fire hazard to happen while taking the sample it should be prevented so for that reason they are saying that you should provide a cap after that it should be well ventilated well lighted and after that it should be provided in such a place that if any spillage occur it does not cause any fire so this thing you have to keep in mind again it say that the maximum working pressure of a valve should not be lower than 14 bar and now suppose you are taking a sample from here now suppose you are taking a sample from here okay so what they are saying that below from where you are taking a sample there should be a tray there should be a tray so that if any drip or anything occurred at that time it should collect in a tray it should not just go here and there so they are saying that thing okay so it should not be lower than 14 bar after that it should be suitable for a drainage to drain and also it should be provided with a drip tray and then the most important thing is that it should be marked both in the engine room pipeline and also in the pipeline diagram it means what that where you have installing now suppose you have installed it here so it should there should be a pamphlet should be there a pamphlet saying this is the in use sample point now suppose you have installed onboard sample here so there should be a pamphlet should be there saying you see the onboard sample now suppose it is a marpool deliver sample there should be a pamphlet saying marpool deliver sample so this is how you should make so these are the rules and regulation of a sample point so friend in today's video you have learned what is the fuel oil sample types of fuel oil sample what do you mean by designated sampling point and what are rules and regulation for fitting a sampling point on board if you still got doubt then you can tell me by comment i will reply back if you want to know each and everything about marpool annex 1 annex 6 you can find the link in the description box and you can also go to the playlist and you can find a lot of video which will help you follow you friends those who are new to this channel i want to tell you marine engineering is a platform which make video which will be beneficial for your examination oral and for your interview purpose if you want to watch video which are yet to be released and want to interact with me you can join our channel marine engineering hub and you can have that interaction with me I will clear your doubt. Thank you friend. Have a good day.